Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since we've been inside of the hive. We're going to open this up and see how far along our brood super is coming along, our deep, and if the bees are putting any honey into the uppermost honey supers. I'm also going to measure the dimensions here because I think I'm going to need another deep before long, and I want to know if this is the right, uh, if I can pick one up from Farm and Fleet. So here we go. Here. Now what's unique about this hive is that it's got a little window here to allow you to see in. So that part they seem to be doing okay with. I can see them in there. It looks like they're relatively quiet. I see there's still a couple of frames that they need to fill. I do want to look to see how much of the frames they're filling. So we're going to have to open this baby up to find out. I got three ticks on my glove. How did I get three ticks on my glove already? Wow. Oh, there's a bunch of ticks on top of my hive. Look at that. There's where all the ticks are. Wow. That's not good. Looking inside of here, I don't see the bees doing storing any honey up in these upper frames. Which... That's a possibility because they may not have gotten that far along yet. So we're going to try and move these off. So here are all our bees. They're pretty quiet thus far. I'm going to remove this queen excluder. Set it on top. So far the bees are all pretty mellow. Okay, there are eight frames in here. And it looks like one, two, three, four, about four and a half are pretty full. Trying to store a little bit of honey up in there, you can see it all. Alright. Over there they're doing pretty good. So you still have this frame to fill up yet. I'm gonna put that right back in. Slide it over. I'm happy and uh, let's see so this frames pretty full a lot of these frames are pretty full they're drawing out comb on here they're capping some cells don't see the queen anywhere on this frame Seems like a lot of worker bees eh, putting in nectar. They they all seem pretty quiet today. It is only in the low 50s today, so it's pretty quiet. Let's see on the flip side here. On the flip side, they're just starting to work on this one a little bit. So not a ton going on. That looks like mainly honey storage. Like I said, they all seem to be fairly dormant here with the weather being pretty cold. Okay. We have a lot of capped cells. <laughs> Quite a bit of honey. Don't see the queen among these, but they're doing a good job making honey on that. Cap and cells. This is not really the best looking uh, form though, according to my folks in the bee class. This side here looks a lot better. Drawn out comb. They have capped cells up above here. Uh, so they seem to still be doing okay, I would say. So I guess we'll put them back in and not worry about it at the moment. So let's see if I can get them to 
go back down so I can put the lid on. Here's our liquid smoke. We'll see if this works. Not as good as a bee smoker, but it does get them to go back down, which is kind of nice. Back on, let's measure these dimensions again. This is 13, 13 and 3 quarters. It's the width, and then the overall length is just a little less than 20. Okay? As long as we find stuff that'll fit that, we'll be in business.